mind you, if you want to see my artworks uh, a bit faster than we would see them on my YouTube channel, or just want to see the full works, just you know, follow me on Instagram at whatever's art on Instagram. Thank you. So I wanted to talk about uh, the anime ReZero. So I just want to let you all know in the first part that I'm gonna start talking about it, or at least parts that I remember. Um, I don't want to make this like a long discussion, like a well, I don't want to make it like a super crazy discussion where I even named the episodes in the light novel, so I meant to say, uh, versus just having a casual chat about it, like, I just want to have a casual chat, uh, my watch time is terrible, <laughs> so I'm trying to come up with ideas that would get people to be more incentive to watch the whole thing, um, other than probably tutorials, but I'd need to know what you guys would want tutorials on, um, outside of that, I'd like to talk about Amelia today, because it's the character that we are drawing today, next will be Rem, um, and when I say this, it's kind of just going to incorporate, like, talking about the story with her in it, and how I think she plays into it, and what I felt, like, great about her character, or what I didn't like about characters. I'm going to try to do this with, like, most of the animes I'm going to start drawing, but I have, I'm going to try to go a little bit more, uh, in-depth with my research and stuff like that, so that way I'll know what I'm talking about, in a way. This is, like, the first couple of trials, so they're probably not going to be as great as what they'll get to, so just... Let's go with it. All right, let's just, just roll with you and me. Let's be cool. Let's just roll with it. All right. So, ReZero was definitely a interesting one. It's definitely on my top tier of animes I kind of enjoy. It's like a... It's like Konosuba, but way, 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 way more depressing. <laughs> but, like, the, the character development of Subaru in that is amazing. The one thing that ruined part of it for me a little bit, or at least kept me in my brain so I couldn't completely turn it off, was everyone's reaction to Subaru rejecting Rem. And the further I watched into it, the more I could not comprehend why they would be surprised what happened, happened. Now, this gets into Amelia, because the plot paints her basically as Subaru's only great light in this whole thing going on which is where her character gets pushed the most. So, of course, the plot would push her as the as the best girl, quote-unquote, even though, yeah, you definitely make the argument that Rim's actually the best girl. Um, but it's, it's baffling to me that people got to the conclusion that they thought either that he was going to go with Rem or the fact that he rejected her and that was weird to them. Like, that, just, that didn't make any sense. I thought Amelia being such a kind, caring character and being almost as awkward as Subaru is was wonderful for the point of the plot like she is she's literally the i think the only person who does not it spoilers i think she's the only person who doesn't kill him like she kills him by association technically because puck but she is the only character who does not kill him sorry guys rim killed him twice that would be really weird to get over it, somebody murdering you in cold blood mind you because he was pleading for his life and saying like all these things like oh please I, I really cared about you guys uh and she just murked the spit out of him and rem's a great character so we're going to talk about her later so don't take this as i'm hating rem i'm just talking about the romance side that people were pushing for i can see why you'd want it but the way they paint amelia like with the lap scene and she completely understands that subaru was just completely breaking down like him doing all that fake uh i'm gonna take care of the mansion hey guys how you doing oh i'm completely 100 percent okay and then just breaking down like that with Amelia was so great and it shows how mature her character was for the fact that she can just basically as awkward as she is pick up on Subaru's emotions even though she doesn't one know him that well two um she doesn't really have to do anything but she's caring enough to just go and do it anyways or like uh the the, the only part with this weird is the witch's name part but I, I feel like we'll understand that in season two when that comes out in June now I think uh, the, that was the only weird part about her character was why the, why the freak did she give him that name and then get pissed about it later uh, in the different timeline uh, like we all know why since it's the witch's name but why tell him that so obviously that's people's theories and stuff that's going to go up but outside of that like her character is always pleasant to Subaru now you could say that makes her boring and that's the one thing I'll give is that like outside of wanting to help the kingdom and to stop the prejudice that's going around there are there, are there any really quirks to Amelia, other than her speech pattern? Like, is, is there a lot of quirks that you can add to her? 
Is there a lot more you could say about her outside of that? And I think the answer is kind of no, as someone else put it out. She would technically almost be the protagonist character if Subaru wasn't there. If you took Subaru out of the picture, she kind of fits the place of her protagonist. She's an underdog. Uh, people don't like her. Uh, she's got a backstory that makes her related to a negative entity like Naruto and the Ninetales Fox instead of her and the witch. Um, and in that way, it would almost make her more bland than everyone else because she would fit that protagonist role. Um, and also because the second part of season one didn't really show much of her character because she was placed kind of at a pedestal. Like she was almost like the trophy for Subaru to get to or the gold to, for Subaru to get to. Either way, it kind of works uh, because things were going so terrible, so terrible in that one. Uh, versus season one where she's more essential and we get more of her character and even then like when even when she had the right to be super pissed at Subaru like when he was doing that court thing that people will say was really cringy and yes it was actually the more cringy part of that whole uh, situation even then she didn't get that pissed with him she just said all right you know I don't like that you're endangering yourself for me and I also don't like how you're turning out because of me so I'm just gonna leave that was it she didn't insult him, she didn't, like, really reprimand him, other than you're doing this for yourself. Uh, but even then, that's not really a reprimand. She was just a very kind character, and she's the only very kind character the entire way to Super. No iffy ands, no, like, uh, slightly, uh, passive-aggressive. She is just pleasant the entire time. And again, you can say that makes her a boring character, but I think for the point of the plot and him being in such a dark world, because it's not like most isekai, I mean isekais, it's just terrible. Like it, it honestly, it's, it's just terrible. And there's a lot of times like people are going in on Subaru and they're like, oh, I don't understand uh, why he was acting so deranged at that point in time. Like I, everybody's response to how he treated each of the leaders makes, it makes complete sense why he acted like that. He watched so many people die over and over and over and Amelia as he's right is basically the only leader that has the best situation in mind for people however it might not be the most realistic it is still the best her goal is for where she wants to get the country and to stop the prejudice in the country is good that's a good thing to do now you could say it could just be for her because seeing how the demi humans are treated I don't think most of them are treated terribly but as most kind of fantasy isekais go they're usually lower than the humans and i think someone pointed out the capital's mostly filled with humans so you can still make that argument so that's fine um but uh, her goal is basically the only one i feel like it's like super positive for the entire world there versus just one wants to be a capitalist the other one wants to be a complete dictator uh the other one's kind of a war hungry leader or at least she wants to put the military first um and then felt just wants to burn everything down <laughs> and she's she's right um but uh, that's gonna leave everybody in just anarchy and so you know that's not gonna do anything amelia's is the golden plan um so it makes sense why subaru would one be so aggressively trying to push for her two again he's died multiple times and that kind of trauma would do ridiculous things to your mind especially because he doesn't like forget it, it doesn't become less painful it's not Cosma dying poor Cosma but it's not Cosma dying <laughs> it is it is actual portrayed death it's not Dragon Ball it's like actual death um so and I, I just feel like again that really adds to her character it, it Subaru is Durant the, the crazier Subaru gets the more it paints Amelia in this light of the thing he the thing he really needs in his life the person who will understand him even if she doesn't understand him she doesn't understand what he's going through she still really seems to understand him as a person and that's really important and that ending where she was sitting there and she's like i just i don't really think i should deserve to be loved it, it's just it's just, it's just so touching it, it's so touching the character development she gives subaru um and just the the ending there because she's not a, again she's not a terrible character a lot of people are just mad because he didn't pick rim and it was how he rejected rim but that doesn't matter for the sake of the plot i'm sorry <laughs> and rim knew that he was going to do that it's very obvious and it's very implied that rim knew what he was going to get to after he felt better about himself um that's why she rejected him uh so again 
and that's also why she said this isn't the Subaru I like. It, it's sad, but she likes the Subaru that likes Amelia. So again, she's just so essential for the plot that she gets she gets the whole plot moving, and she's the only person in the show who wasn't. I'm gonna just phrase it very abruptly. She wasn't a dick. <laughs> So having Super be obsessed with her did nothing to me. Like it, it, it didn't affect me at all. The only thing I don't like is the fact that he is um, basically like it's almost kind of worship. But at the point that he's at, the derangedness kind of makes sense. As long as he doesn't go as far as the cult leader, uh, is it Betelgeuse? Is that how you say his name? Uh, so as long as he doesn't go that far, which was the other uh, analogy, and it was him and Super were kind of like uh, the same character. Except metal just is crazy, but it's almost the same amount of like weird worship. Uh, but as Amelia goes again, great character, love her design by the way. That's the reason why we're drawing this. Like I absolutely love her design, and I, I think she's getting. I, I think because of the Rem situation, she gets way more hate. I know this was kind of like me just going off for the spiel. That's kind of what I wanted. I just want to go on and talk. I don't really want this to be like crazy, super organized. Um, I just want to talk. And so I want you guys' opinion down below. Like, what did you think of ReZero? If you do hate her, tell me why. And give me good reasoning. Uh, any reasoning is technically good reasoning because it's your opinion. But give me some freaking good reasoning, okay? Dang. Um, I think that's it. Uh, I'm stuck in my house because of the coronavirus. And I hope you guys are... Uh, doing well in your house uh this is the time to learn some new skills don't let cabin fever hit you it's okay to step outside your door just to breathe the air get back in and then go find like three different skills you can learn dual duolingo and learn some languages or uh, uh more time for drawing practice you know what i mean just do something uh, start sculpting uh, watch some anime uh, but i think i think it's about it for my whole discussion on this so i hope you all have a good day uh leave a like and subscribe um if you like this format, let me know. If you don't, let me know. Uh, and I think that's about it. Uh, tell me if you like and do the artwork as well. Peace out. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.